miniature masterpieces constructed from many thousands of tiny plastic parts. Technical toys for young and old. Almost every piece of machinery and every technological principle can be reconstructed with kits from Fisher Technic. The company was founded more than 50 years ago in the Black Forest, a region with more than its fair share of tinkerers, inventors and engineers. I started fairly early, at the age of six or seven, I think, constructing my first models with Fischer Technik. Physics is fun. That's the approach of the engineers that develop models like this ball bearing one. Flexible tracks carry the steel balls as they loop the loop and shoot through chicanes, seesaws and track changeovers. From design to manufacture, all components produced by the family company are made in Germany. On the computer, the engineers develop a stream of new ideas designed to help people experience and understand physical laws like acceleration or inertia. I think the attraction of Fischer Technik lies in the diversity of the system. You can use the parts to make so many different models without necessarily sticking to the instruction manual. You can even invent your own models if you like. The system that is from kindergarten alter, four, five years, bis ins erwachsenen alter in the computing line reich. Just how educational the technical toy is can be seen in the company itself. In the workshop, trainees work with the same kits so as to understand the functionality of large industrial machinery and plants. The other thing the company is known for is its dowels and plugs, which can hold whole buildings together. We use Fischer Technik in our training workshop. The apprentices learn how to program an industrial plant by using Fischer Technik models, which is of course much more economical than training them on big robots. Thanks to the compatibility between the model software and conventional computers, whole production cycles can be schematically reproduced and run in real time. Thus, stock turnover and resupplying via conveyor belt take shape. Computer-controlled welding robots in the car industry or automated high bay warehousing for modern just-in-time logistics work according to the same principle. Each of these work processes can be reproduced in model format. The teaching models aren't quite identical to the material to be found in toy shops. To reproduce industrial plants, some extra components are needed. The computer technology and control units for the operational programs correspond to industry norms. The Fischer Technik models have also proved themselves at Staudinger, a company that makes and installs industrial plants, and they're even used in universities to train engineers. As seen here at the Technical University in Gelsenkirchen. Here, students from all over the world learn to understand and use the principles of warehousing and logistics using Fischer Technik models. The student's goal is to understand how a plant works and to analyze it logistically. That means, how long do I need to get the goods to place? How long do I need to get the goods to the stations? 
At what point in the cycle could time, and thus money, be saved? What looks like a game could, in the end, influence the processes at gigantic distribution centers. The special thing about this plant is that its construction is not exactly ideal from a logistical point of view, and the students have to recognize this and improve it. Those understanding the principle have no difficulty transferring the knowledge gained onto a larger scale. Thus, a model costing a few hundred euros can be used to simulate processes that, in reality, would cost several million. The fascinating thing about Fischer Technik is that it allows us to reproduce everything from machinery, conveyor belts, to warehousing that is found in a real factory in miniature. Förderbänder, Leger, alles das, was es in einer Fabrik gibt, en miniature nachzubilden und damit zu arbeiten. Managers and professors have discovered that they can prepare their trainees and students for their future professions using technical model kits. Even if not everyone who once played with such kits as a child is destined to become a great inventor, miniature masterpieces such as these certainly are extremely impressive. <laughs>